Hey, it's Pink Buddha, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a sample pack that I made from sitting down with the Behringer cat for a couple hours and making some really weird sounds and percussion sounds, drum sounds. And if you missed the video that I did on my other channel where I actually was making these sounds, you can catch that one by clicking on this link up here, or there's a link in the description below. But in this video, we're just gonna like walk through all the sounds, things you get on the sample pack. By the way, it's free, so don't hesitate to grab this if you like how it sounds. So let's just jump in together and check this out. the drum and percussion sounds. Now these I recorded a bit different than the other loops and then I used the electron heat for some analog distortion give it some nice warmth to it. And there are 32 different drum sounds. One I'm calling cat drums and the other one I'm calling cat percussion. Here are the sounds in the cat drum kit. I got three different kicks. That one's really punchy. Three different snares. I like that long one there. Some hi-hat sounds. And then a couple crashes. <laughs> that one definitely is not your traditional crash. And then a clap sound. A couple laser sounds. And then some cowbells. I like how all of these have a really clear analog sound to them. They don't really sound like 808s. They are similar, but not quite the same. Let's listen now to the percussion kit. I think you're going to like these ones. A couple sounds like this. They're not really kicks, they're kind of just this lower percussion sound. Some more here. And some more lasers. I really like that one. That sounds like something in the Star Wars. I really like that percussion sound too. Oh, and by the way, I have two channels. One of them that's focused only on gear reviews and products and all that kind of stuff. And then this channel is focused only on sample packs, reviews of them, and also many of my own, just like this one. So if you're interested in that kind of content, consider subscribing here so you don't miss out on the next video. Okay, so now let's take a look at the loops. And they're actually 55 different loops times two. The reason I say times two is that I recorded the raw signal, which is just straight in without any processing. And then I also ran it through my delay pedal. So when I found a loop that I liked, I just grabbed both of them and I threw them in two different folders. So you have your cat drums here that I mentioned before, you have our cat percussion, and then these loops. And the raw one is just, again, going straight in without any effects on it. And then the delay pedal is the second one. So if you happen to see one that you like, maybe like loop number 10, and you wanted to have that instead of the pedal, you could just go into that pedal folder. Let me take you through a couple of how these sound. Let's listen from the beginning. That has the delay on it, and the raw signal sounds like this. That was a great one. Let's listen to the reverb version of that. Sometimes they aren't different because I didn't always have the pedal on. So in that case, you just have two loops. Pick which one you want. This one definitely has that pedal on it. This one's definitely got a difference between the two. Here's the dry signal. Some of 
these are a lot longer, like that loop is really long. That one sounds like it's laughing, and I named it that on my presets. I love that sound. You can actually cut up a lot of these ones too to make some more percussion sounds beyond the percussion ones or the drum ones that I already curated. Those that I made for you, I definitely shaped them a little bit. But there's like a lot of different blips and things like that in here to make great drum sounds. Some arpeggiated sounds in here too, not just kind of these percussion ones. Sounds like some kind of demented, like, circus music. Without the delay, this one sounds like this. sounds really good with the delay.
Okay, so that's what they all sound like. If you wanna pick this up, use the link in the comments or the description below. And again, consider subscribing if you don't wanna miss out on the next sample pack that I create.